What the hell is that? It's a display. You're not building Camelot, you're selling beans. You build them up like that, who's gonna touch them? They're not here for respect, they've got to offer themselves, like it says there, offer. A random effect. Like this, see? Laying about so people grab them. I understand. That'll be the day. How'd your tea? Yeah. Right, I want you to take over on a checkout. Mrs. King Tom. I'm telling you. Any objections? No, Mr. King. Over there now, love. Do you mind? Over to the other side now, please. Oh, I bet you're old Puskas waiting for this. He's not old. Beg your pardon, Puskas. Well, he is a bit old. Here, I like her. <laughs> Don't we all? And now it's her tea break. Oh, well, she can just take my money. Uh, let me help you with that, ma'am. her name, Noreen. They can't stand her any more than I can. Yeah, well, I imagine She's a, a stupendous, giant-sized, unrepeatable drag. Okay. For peace sake, why? Why what? Her. Why did you do it? Take her on. Well, we're short of help. You couldn't have been that short. We were. Look, if I'd have been here then. Two girls short. When I took over, a single glance, that was all I needed. Well, she's good at figures and she's willing. <laughs> willing? And they aren't all. It's their money. Look at that, Linda. She'll be off soon as spit. No, she won't. She said so. Leave Linda to me. Mm. That Linda's. I'll take it. Don't you ever boil the water? Sometimes. Okay. Linda, oh. find your way through the tea leaves. Well, that Mickey. Try these. They're a new line. Oh, I've got to watch me figure. Let me do that. You just see the stickies. Just been talking to old June about staff. Oh, yeah. Changes. I can think of one. You're not wrong. I've cleverly avoided it. Oh. She's a mistake soon to be put right. Yeah. June's mistake, and June knows it. Bit soft, old June. June's all right. No needs watching.
<laughs> and she smells. Not dirty, just... Oh, I don't know. Everybody smells. you just got to smell good. You smell good. Oh? I need more like you. Eh? Hey? Yeah. The smell. Oh, forget the smelling. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not stopping here. <laughs> Wait a sec. This what? dump. Well, no, me. <laughs> you think this is my lot? Manager here, my big ambition realised. No. For God's sake, I'm using it. Brightway stores are little men with little ideas. That Brightway Billy stuff, I ask you. But I can use them. How? Experience. Then I'll really get going. Into the big stuff. Freezer chains, drivings. But it all sussed out. Mm, you know, I believe you. I'm telling you all this because you're special. All you got to do is stick with me. Mm. Oh! Oh. oh, no, it's, uh, it would be, uh... Oh, dear. Look at it all over me. My shoes, my new skirt. What happened? The coffee bad as she knocked it over. I didn't. You did? Stupid, clumsy. Just look at it, a whole big jar. It just fell off. I'm so sorry, madam. Let me help you. Such a mess. Everything's ruined. Oh, it's not as bad as that. What is it? Instant coffee. It should brush out. Just go along with the Mrs. King. You and a temper, was that it? No, Mr. Grimley. Because I had to speak to you. No. Banging things about. Oh, I never. Just take clumsy. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> I thought it would brush out. <laughs> No charge, madam. I insist. And try this coffee. It's our own brand. I think you'll like it. Do come again soon. <laughs> Mr. Grimley's got his own ideas about things. I mean, it's quite right he should have them. Yeah. So we've all got to try. Well, I'm a bit quicker. Yes, I know, dear, but it's the customers. We've got to try and make it nice for them. But it is nice. I mean, us. We've got to be friendly and bright. Yeah. Why don't you make something of yourself? Hold yourself, you know. Fix up your face a bit like the other girls. Come on. Why not? It looks funny. Well, what do you think it looks like? Just try. Smile at people. Do what he wants. What? Mr. Grimley wants a bit of smile. Will you make an effort? Yeah. Yeah. Don't leave anything. Mickey, do you hear me? I want that top shelf cleared. It's a rubbish dump up there. Look what she's done to herself. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, I did suggest You it. suggested that. No, of course not. Place. I 
fighting. Look. No, I never. I, I've got a fight. There was something. What do you mean? I don't know. I thought I saw something. An animal. A dog. It must have been that. There is no dog. No. Come on out. All right. No trouble. Come around to the other side. Mickey, come and clear up. Do you ever know what you're doing? Anywhere? Do you? Did you at school? What did they say about you? Makes no effort, does not try. Is that what they said? Oh, I was never absent. Look, I can guess what they said. Didn't they say, uh, you'll never keep a job, Noreen? Because if they did, they were right. And what about your parents, eh? Sorry, Dad. I just got a push for being lazy and clumsy and generally useless. Sorry, I don't think you're... What's he going to say to that, eh? Make him stand up and cheer, will it? He can't say anything. Why not? He's dead. Oh, no. Yes, he is. When I was little. What about your mother? She's sick a lot. Who says I can't? Not after that. I don't want her here. Get on to personnel. I'd never said. Well, why not? It's what it's for, staff problems. Mr Grimley. What? There was something that made me jump. An animal, something like that. It must have been. Now you are lying. There was. Have I got to go? At least not on the checkout. Who? That girl, the funny one. I'm not getting shut of anybody. I need more staff. Mm. Shove that bright way mince up on the corner here and make him try it. You tried it? Why? You try it. You like your job? Oh, it's all right. <coughs> you must do. Take all the things he says to you. Don't you care? I tell you if he says those things to me. I don't mean them. Mm. I don't mind a bit of yelling. All that mean stuff. Colin Grimley's a pig. Don't say that. Listen, Nor, why are you so mean and miserable? You've left school, you don't have to take it. You can just walk out of here any time you want. I don't want to. Say you're at best watch out. Look, do you mind? Why don't you try him with a different brand? Try ours, it's cheaper. He wouldn't have it. Don't believe the commercials. He knows the label. When are you? What? Going to do it. There's such a thing as good management. Look, I told you last night. Oh, she's you... got into your master plan. Leave it out, will you? What about tonight? Oh, I don't know. My other friend. Oh, Linda. Again. It's the animal. What animal? It is. Listen. It's 
It's there, beyond the shelves. Nothing. But it was there. What do you suggest it was? I don't know. She wasn't anywhere near. A cat? A monkey? Whatever it was, it just conveniently melted away. Perhaps it was Brightway Billy. Personal <laughs> appearance. Come to look us over. <laughs> Brightway <Right>, Billy. <laughs> but he had better not do it again, had he? Pick him up. She didn't touch that shelf. Of course she did. I was watching. You need specs. Come on. What? Customer moaning. What about? You better come and do it. This one's the same. Half them are. All split open. Never seen this before. Under the bacon. Sort of like chewed. Yeah. Ooh, what could have done it? Faulty seals. The edges have split apart. Must be a dud batch. It'll all have to go back. Oh, you don't think... Uh... A dud batch, I said. Was it that animal, do you think? What animal? There is no animal. What animal? If she got any idea, she better tell us. Do you know? I don't know. Right, why, Billy? That was a joke. But I saw it. What? Well, I think I did, just for a second. What was it? Oh, I'm not sure. Where? It rained. In behind there. Mickey! Mickey! Shine it under again. See anything? No. Make sure. Nothing. All right. No sign, no goblins. No. All right, you better come out. Let's get this thing back. It must have gone. Yeah, it must have. How big was it? Um, there. I didn't really say. But you saw its colour? Sort of. Brownish. Furry? I suppose so. Wasn't like this by any chance. <laughs> How could it be? <laughs> Old Brightway Billy. No, it couldn't. We just said that. All right, break it up. Let's get some work done.
wants to live as such. It's in my ass for, isn't it? I see. I see. No, 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 there's no message. It's just too complicated to explain. That's why I... Just tell him, will you? Say it's very urgent. You've got my name. Mr. Grimley. G-R-I-M-L-E-Y. Getting him to ring back. That's really great. I'm doing all I can. Well, it's not enough, is it? Never mind, love. Have you met Mr. Libisage? Oh, he's very nice. He's one of the old-fashioned sort, you know, very considerate. I remember I was at the Portland Way branch once and we had a bit of pushing going on oh, there, yeah. you know. And this Stop comes it! Down and sort it out. Oh, shut up! You're gonna let her get away with it? No. You are? Oh, that scene just now. She got excited. Excited? She started it. Raving and screeching Listen like to me, Linda. setting everybody off. You mean you? Everybody. You most of all. <laughs> in such a state, wouldn't you go? Be. All right, all right. I'm trying to make out some kind of. Linda, Linda, <laughs> Linda, listen to me. I saw inside the chest. The oh, not again. There was something wrong. So the sooner we get somebody down from head office, the better, right? Right. Mickey. Mickey, you finished over there? Not quite. It'll have to do. Get her up, Pop. Why not? <laughs> Naughty Billy. That's all it was. Oh, top must have come off. But that wouldn't do it. Well, that wouldn't uh, be enough to... It was a trick. What? Billy's trick. Oh, on us. Stop her! Colin, stop her saying things like that! Can't you see? She makes it happen! I just said it's Billy. <laughs> It is Billy! Oh dear. Why don't you shut up? <laughs> Mickey, get her a glass of water. I'll be all right now. Mickey, get some water. Yes. Listen, Colin, this has got to stop. I don't know how she does it, but she does it. That's what I'm I've had enough! Brightway Stores, manager speaking. Oh, yeah, Mr. Liversidge. Uh, yeah, I got this problem, and it's a bit unusual. Oh, better get back to the cash just go on. Oh. Yeah, I think that would be best. If you can find the time, Mr. Liversidge, I mean, <laughs> I can't handle it, but uh, it's. Who'd you hear that from, Mrs. Brownlow? <laughs> yeah, I thought I saw her in there. No, it wasn't anything. The false alarm. I don't know. People get upset so easily these days. Yeah, everything's quiet at the moment. But I'd be grateful if you could get up as soon as.
message. How do, Mrs. King? Nice to see you. Um, he's in the office. All right. I think we'll have the door shut, if it will. Stick Grimley, what on earth have we got here? I don't know. When I heard those screams coming through on my phone, I realised that I, you were not exaggerating. Did you find the young lady? No, Linda. Well, I went round to her digs, but she cleared out. Oh? Uh -huh. Well, she's got parents down in Brighton, so maybe she's gone down there. You were concerned about her? Well, she's a good worker. So you value her? Yes. Very sensible. Yes. So if she thought she'd found some some creature out there in the toilet, she probably had. I don't know. Well, it's something most people wouldn't be mistaken at, huh? I would have said so, but myself, I'd have sworn I saw something moving in the freezer, yet I didn't actually see it. I suppose it's not a question of just plain rodent infestation, mice or rats. No, this is a clean shot. Yeah, of course. This young girl, I think I saw her just now. What's her name? Noreen. Eh? Hey? Oh, 16, 17. And you think she may be in some way? I don't know. Honestly, don't see how, yet it's, it's just this feeling. I'll have a little chat with her. Well, you won't get much change. She's dead thick. Not your choice, I take it. No, and if you want the case history Not of that... Not just I... now. Well, I'll send her in. No, no, no. Uh, is that a coffee bar across the lane? Yeah, but it's a bit... Well, I don't think you'd like it. I don't know. How do you like your coffee? Oh, I do like it. Oh, <laughs> I mean, lots of milk? Yeah. Two coffees here, please. One very milky, one black. You from the head office? That's right. What are they going to do with me? What? Nothing. Do I look that threatening? Why should I? I don't know. Bless my soul. I just want to ask your opinion. I'm personnel manager, and I like to meet the personnel, starting with you, and hear about this mysterious animal. Oh, Billy. Hmm? Huh? Right way, Billy. Oh, no, no, I don't mean... No, it's a, it's a joke. It's what we call the animal. Mr. Grimley said it. Did he? Yeah, he says funny things. Does he? Yeah. He's a clever young chap. Yeah. Ambitious. Yeah. You're lucky to have such a good boss. Yeah. Now, let's get back to this Billy. Like most young girls, I expect you're interested in animals. Know a bit about them. Yeah. Well, what do you think he is? Well, I don't know. I just saw him for a second. Well, nobody else saw him. Well, I was lucky. Do you know what I'd like you to do? Show me exactly where he was. Oh, you had that coffee. Maybe have that coffee, please. But we all heard him. Great bits and pieces, eh? Yes, yeah, just a few things. Now it's home to a bit of peace and quiet. Lucky you. See you in the morning. Right, sir. Night, Joyce. Excuse me. You going? Yeah. You finished? Yeah, good night. Now, my dear, you show me where you were standing.
That was when we found the bacon pan. Apparently, too. And then you got a glimpse of something. Oh, Billy. Like. Exactly where? Um, sort of. You got him behind? Maybe. I can't see where. There's no gap. Well, he did. Uh-huh. And next, Mr. Grimley found him in the freezer. Enjoying the sub-zero temperature. He got out of there. Nobody saw him. I saw. Where did he go? He went running. Along there, under the bottom shelves. Between the cans of cooking oil. Not much room there. Then this crate of kitchen salt. He couldn't get through there. Well, he did. Who else saw it, Mrs. King? No. Sure? Quite sure. Any customers? No one. I saw him. I did so. Well, perhaps you made a mistake. Things seen through the corner of your eye can be very deceptive. Reflections, moving, shadows. He's here now. What? what? Somewhere I know he is. No, <laughs> dear. I'm sure you're imagining that. I do know. Billy. That'll do, Noreen. Billy. Billy. That's enough. There's nothing there. Nothing's going to happen. It's time that we were going. Now, where did you put your coat? Ah, oh, here it is. Noreen. Billy. Billy, that's naughty. Look what he's done there, Billy, that's enough. Stop it. I think he's gone. Aren't you frightened? She never is. Maureen, did you see him that time? No. Did you? Can I go? I'm tired and my mum will be wondering. A poltergeist, I'm sure of it. You mean a, a spook? Oh, don't go with that. It's a lot more complicated. I remember a case, oh, it was donkey's years ago. There was a house and there were noises in it, thumps and knocking and whatnot. And then furniture moving and things flying about. Yeah, I remember reading something oh, like that. Oh, thousands. But this was one I knew. And the cause of it all was a young kid, a boy at that time. Now, things happened when he was there, and when he wasn't, they didn't. He knew he was doing it? They sort of do, and they don't. She does? She does now. What about the animal? You heard it scratching and breathing. All part of it. <sighs> all that. 
And it's building up, you know. It was worse tonight. Quite a performance. But how? I couldn't begin to think. Better to ask why. Then why? I'd hazard a while, guess. Well, go on. Love. Huh? She's in love with you, haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, that's sick. Oh, I don't know. I mean, if she thinks I could ever possibly contemplate. You really think that? Sex! It's a pretty powerful force. Not always under conscious control at the best of times. I know that. I'm sure you do. But her? In her case, gone very, very wrong. Like something coming undone. Oh, forgive me, I mean, in the personality. I'll get rid of her. No, not just like that. Why not? The cruelest thing you can do. I wouldn't answer for the consequences. To her? Of course to her! Here. How can I? I mean, if this thing carries on and the press get hold of it, do you want that? Well, you didn't help matters calling it Brightway, Billy. Oh, my God. One of our chairman's happier inventions. She's got to go. Oh, wait a minute. She's going. Hold on. This kid's in a hell of a mess. She needs help and she's going to get it from you, too. Not me, not me. Ambitious young lad, aren't you, Grimley? Nothing's going to stick to you. Well, it can, you know, with words like lacking in insight and compassion. Not recommended for top managerial. What do you suggest? Keep her here. Give her work in the stockroom here. Quiet and busy, out of people's way, no audience. And if this thing carries on? I'll deal with it. But just now it's up to you. Be kind. Just kind, that's all. I'll do my best. Tell the others. Set it up. That's a good lad. Here we are, love. As much as I can shove. Will I come and help? Uh, no. Let's see what you can do. Oh, I oh, know, the sugar. Unpack those and put the bags on the shelves. Yes, Mrs. King. Take your time. Yeah, we'd have done that before. It's a new idea. Remember what I told you. Mm. I don't like working with her, Miss King. Oh. Right? Everyone's been so nice to me. Well, why not? Well, I, I didn't think they would be. You haven't done anything wrong, love. They might have thought I encouraged Billy. Oh. jobs. Who do I see? Oh. They're still going, are they? Um, you better see Mr. Grimley, the manager. Uh, this way. Can you manage those? They're heavy. It's all right, Mr. Grimley. Take it easy. Yes, Mr. Grimley. This young lady has come about a job. Oh, yes. Part time, if possible. You'd better come into the office. You're dead. I better warn you from the start, the cash isn't so great. <laughs> that doesn't matter. It's something to do, really. Barry out all day. Your husband? Of course. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, you mind if I smoke? No, not at all. Excuse me. Uh, do you keep anchovies? Right. Uh, anchovies. Over there. Over there. Excuse me. Thank you. Someone quite fun, about six months. Really. Oh, I want something funny. Yeah. <laughs> I see, well. 
So I thought, no harm in making a bit on the side. A bit on the side's always nice. Yeah. Can't get enough of it, I reckon. Money, I mean, these days. Let me take a go. Huh. I had to do it. I had no choice. It was a question of customer safety. You wait till you see the damage, the mess. I was on a point of calling the police. But you didn't. No, no, I'm glad you were able to manage. Where is she now? Have you got her home address? Right. Give it to me. There we go. Right. Now, I want to treat this as a medical matter. If you mean getting her put away, I couldn't agree more. Somebody ought to do it, and quick. Mr. Lucid? Get that ketchup off the walls, it stains. Don't yell. You'll work out your notice, and I mean work! Keep at it! Well, it's not normal, is it, for a man to sit like that night after night, yeah. just gazing at the teller? Well, I think it'd really be best if I got him a tonic. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, yeah. yellow one that I have hey. when I have the flu. I heard that yeah. funny girl brought some wild thing in. No, 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 no. I said, didn't I? I could see the badness in her. Well, she's gone now. Oh, well, I timed too. People don't like upsets in the shop. They won't come. It's all over. Well, I've got to come, you see, to get this for him. He won't have no other. Good. Uh, have you uh, joined our Christmas club yet? Oh. Uh... What's that? There. Didn't you hear it? the window yes Good this, Lord. this time I nearly did call the police but what are we charging we're sitting still I'll go over
Trabalho. Just been round to your house, hoping to find you. The doctor was there. Dr. Casey, isn't it? Looking in on your mother. He hadn't heard about you. He'd like to see you. I'm okay. Young people have their troubles. For most of them, it's no worse than block paws that give them spots on their faces. But perhaps once in a while, once in a very long while, much more gets blocked. And then something erupts and tears loose. Don't understand. I think you do. I mean, what you say is Billy. I want you to come with me. We'll have a chat with Dr. Casey. Noreen, will you? My car's parked just round the corner. Just wait here until I come back. Promise. Our doctor and bring him back here. He's got to see this. Meanwhile, don't do anything. Just keep an eye on her and try to stay out of her sight.
stabbed me really. He took me by the end. <laughs>